The hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, or HPA axis, is a complex group of feedback interactions among three endocrine glands. According to a journal done by J.W. Honor, it serves both in the resting state to maintain homeostasis and in times of metabolic, physical, and emotional threat to enhance endocrine control of the organism. There are three parts to the HPA axis. First, we have the hypothalamus. This can be thought of as the control center. It sits at the base of the cerebellum and sends messages from your brain to your pituitary gland, adrenals, and other organs. It is part of the limbic system, which helps regulate things like body temperature and circadian rhythm. Next, we have your anterior pituitary. This is a pea-sized gland that is actually physically attached to the hypothalamus. It secretes important hormones such as antidiuretic hormone and growth hormone. Finally, we have the adrenals. These are the pyramidal glands that sit just superior to the kidneys. It produces steroid hormones such as cortisol and stress hormones like adrenaline and dopamine. These important glands produce much of the chemical responses throughout our bodies, including our fight or flight response. During Paula's race, she is introduced to social and physical stressors. These stressors stimulate the hypothalamus, causing it to release corticotrophin-releasing hormone. This sends a signal to the pituitary gland and stimulates its adrenal corticotropic hormone production. Finally, this sends another signal to the adrenal glands and causes it to secrete cortisol, which increases your blood glucose, and adrenaline, which increases blood pressure and heart rate. This prepares your body for a fight-or-flight response. The HPA axis is a negative feedback loop, meaning once the body is creating too much cortisol, the adrenals will send a signal to the hypothalamus and essentially shut it off from making more NEACH.